Namaste, love and light, divine feminine. Welcome to my channel, Starseeds Tarot 444, where you can get tarot readings and so much more. I send you all love and light, abundance, and prosperity. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box down below. Okay, um, so yeah, divine feminine. I feel like somebody's been disrespecting your ancestors. Alright, for some of you guys, for somebody to be, um, is disrespecting you and disrespecting you is like disrespecting your ancestors, okay? So I feel like I needed to say that for someone. Okay, watch out with people. Watch out, um, for the people you have around you, okay? Um, which we should already know. Some people not vibrations high. Okay, so yeah. Burn some sage, light my candle. Hold on, y'all. I should have did this before. Honestly, forgot to um, burn my candle. A little tea light. But, um, yeah, so before we get started, I'm going to pull a divine message for you all from the um, Divine Abundance Oracle. Shout out to the Hindu gods and goddesses. They come through for me. All right, and I'm sure they will come through for you all if you guys utilize them correctly, okay? Call on the Cali Mom, Anita, um, Lakshumi, I believe that's her name. That's one that I just discovered yesterday. She revealed herself to me yesterday. I'm also getting a Japanese goddess, too. Um, she's going to reveal herself to me soon. But I'm picking up a Japanese goddess and also surrounding you guys at this time. A Chinese. Some of y'all have Chinese royalties or ancestors here. Okay, indigenous Chinese, y'all know the indigenous Asians, right? So, like, y'all have that connection, that link. Okay, some of y'all could definitely be connected with the Asian culture or the Asian way of spiritual beliefs or spirituality. So, let's see, spirit. Can I have one card for the crowning energy for the Divine Feminine reading? One card, please. Ooh, humility. I feel like y'all are dealing with someone who needs to work on their humility. Y'all could be dealing with y'all could have been dealing with someone that could be a bit cold hearted. Okay, I'm getting um scone. Somebody could have been trying to scone you here because you of uh, because you are more um you have more humility than them, okay? Like not saying like that was their main issue, like, oh you have humility and, and I don't know, but I feel like they were antagonizing you because of your level of humility and they don't have that. So they were almost jealous or envious of that. Okay. But we have, allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. Yeah, and I feel like this, I feel like your humility, how to wait, your, your compassion for others here, I feel like it keeps you in a high vibration and you threw somebody off because they was in a lower vibration. You threw, whoever this person was you were dealing with, you threw them off, okay, because your vibration is much higher, okay. Um, I welcome your help in every way and, and delight in receiving it. Yeah. So I feel like you guys just have a delightful energy. You guys are, un you guys um, recognize the energy of receiving and allowing, you know, you're very pure, you're very grounded. And I feel like you were dealing with someone that was ungrounded here. The emotions were skyrocketing all over the place. And I feel like you had to, um, for like whoever you came across as like this, who I'm describing, you had to check them. You came, they came into your life so you can check them here. Okay, so they can check themselves and they so they can get down and pray. Okay, because they have no humility here. I'm getting get down on one knee. Okay, this is red for love. I feel like y'all have a person, um, y'all person, whoever y'all was dealing with, they want your forgiveness here. All right, they're recognizing what they did was wrong. They didn't really have much humility when they did. I'm getting humiliating. So they could have humiliated you or made you feel humiliated. And I feel like they want forgiveness here. They're gaining wisdom with this owl. They gain a lot of wisdom here with this flower, this rose. They're gaining wisdom about you and your love connection here. They want you. I'm seeing many roses here. Something came to light here. They want forgiveness. Okay, they want forgiveness. They want forgiveness, a second chance. Some of y'all can have this type of dog. Y'all can't see it. Okay, I'm getting a poodle. Some of y'all can have a poodle or want a poodle here. Yeah, guidance here. Yeah, I feel like somebody did not want to accept your guidance because their ego was up their ass. That's what Spirit is saying. And that made them lack humility, okay? You was meant to guide someone along their path with this boat. You was meant. You came into their life. You arrived into their life to help guide them with the star. It's almost like you are a North Star here and you are the compass to help guide others. And you, you was meant to guide them and help them transform, but they, they rejected it, okay? They rejected your offer here. Something about this flower that was supposed to transform transform and blossom into a higher frequency a higher timeline 
and y'all came, y'all crossed paths for that, and they denied it, okay? They denied your assistance here, and that's why they treated you so poorly, okay? And try to say you lack humility or you don't, yeah, and, and they the ones that lack humility. Anyway, y'all are dealing with someone that is a groupie, not, and I'm not even getting just relationship, but just somebody that's just a groupie here that's just in the sidelines, just, you know, trying to get attention from others. But not really receiving authentic attention, okay? Or true support, I don't know. Alright, I feel like somebody did not want you to receive support. Whoever this person is, they were trying to low-key sabotage you, okay? Ooh, legal issues. Somebody's about to go through some legal issues, okay? People around you, your past karmics, they, they're going through a lot of legal issues here. This is spiritual and on the physical, okay? Whatever tea that's about to be spilled, somebody don't want it to be spilled. I'm feeling it, okay? Because you, you was too busy winning, and somebody was sabotaging you purposely behind your back while you was um, buying your business. All right, so let's see, spirit. Yeah. Family issues. Yeah, somebody within your family. For some of you guys, this is happening behind closed doors. Y'all had a family member um, trying to sabotage you. And y'all could be at odds. Y'all could have had a, a falling out with your family here. And everybody try to... Um, I'm getting at these people. It's, um, you were the victim here. But these people, they try to demonize you. There we go. They try to demonize you. I feel like a fake family member is coming back around with a dirty offer here. They coming in with an apology to fix things, to fix whatever family issues y'all have. I feel like y'all could have been close. I'm getting this could even be like a dad or someone close to your dad or an uncle here. See how it resonates here? I feel like they were talking a lot of shit about you behind your back here. Yeah, while you was too busy winning and now they trying to come back around. All right. I feel like while you was too busy winning, getting your bag here, taking care um, of your needs, doing whatever you need to do, you have fake family members talking shit about you. Okay. You have fake family members talking shit. Yeah, and I feel like these people even try to threaten you. Try to make you, um, try to intimidate you, make it seem like whatever it is that you're too busy winning doing, making it seem like it was wrong for you to do it because it makes you happy. It keeps you in a pure vibration, keeps you um, high vibrational. And they was threatened and intimidated by that, or they were just simply bothered here. Impatient, impersonated. Yeah, I could have had a false, um, a fake family member that was trying to be like you, try to copy you, dress like you, all type of shit. Wants to be you, acts like, dresses like, looks like, copies you. I feel like he, he or she was copying you. I'm getting copying you. If y'all are like in some type of creative space, I mean, some, if y'all do something creative, have a business or something, they was trying to copy that. They were trying to copy your idea, be a creativity muncher. Okay, yeah, dust it off, and y'all could have cut these um these for, um family members off. For some of you guys, as friends, y'all could have been um like close, like family. All right, for others, you guys are getting females. Okay, it could have been your family and a group of females here that was trying to um antagonize you, trying to be a, an, an impersonator, but you dust it off. I feel like with this dirty offer here, somebody name could start with a D. All right, your family member or somebody that you know may start name may start with a D. All right, but because I'm seeing dirty offer and dust, I'm seeing the D. Is, 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 um. Is, significant for me to tell y'all but you dust off that dirty offer you knew it was bullshit your intuition your spirit guides told you that not to trust them all right i feel like for some of you guys y'all definitely ask spirit if you should let them back in because they family want to give them a chance you know let bygones be got bygones people change the spirit told you no for some of you guys your higher self and your intuition instantly just told you no yeah to run away and i feel like there's a female that done something wrong to you she's trying to run now she's because she's receiving karma with this um seeing the libra on my astrology chart she's receiving karma and she's trying to run. There was a karmic that was trying to be like you here. She's having family issues here. And she trying to come back around trying to be your friend or be cool with you again here. Yeah, trying to kiss ass. Basically trying to come back around and kiss ass. I'm getting for some of you guys, this friend was trying to come back around and kiss ass just to set you right back up. All right, so she's receiving karma. All right, I feel like there's a lot of people that's going to be trying to kiss ass and be cool with you again while you're too busy winning. While you are coming up here. Why things are about to be going up for you, while you're going through your glow up, there's going to be a lot of people trying to come back around. I feel like a lot of people ran from you, all right, whenever, 
when you was um trying to um do whatever it is that you're doing, whatever this too busy winning energy is, this could be work, school, business, a career, a business plan, a creative content. I feel like people was running from you like they didn't support you. And I feel like now things are about to change. You're about to receive your trophies, your accolades, your recognition, your rewards, and people are going to be trying to kiss ass and be like they're proud of you with these flowers. Hey, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I definitely feel a fake friend trying to come back around. A distorted feminine or masculine energy, but it was a friend, okay? Yeah, fake ass friend. They was running because it was fake. Spirit ran these people away because it was fake. But look, they're curious about you, or they about to start being um, they about to start becoming curious about you. Yeah, they fake flexing right now. I feel like right now, presently, they fake flexing, but in the near future, they about to start reaching out. Whoever this friend is, either male or female, they're gonna start reaching out to you real soon, very soon. Okay, now I feel like for some of you guys, your family member went to apologize for saying that you're fake flexing and you're pretending and acting like you got it, got, you know, that you acting like you're rich or you got it all together and you're not. They're trying to say that you was a show off, you're trying to act all fancy. They want to apologize for that. They was threatened and they was intimidated by the fact that you was growing, that you had growing success and abundance and they tried to say that you was fake flexing. But some of you guys, your friend was trying to say that you was fake flexing, but it was only because he or she was intimidated by you. This is the same one that wants to come back and kiss ass. Somebody tried to say that you were, you was neglecting your kids, but I'm getting whoever this friend is she's suffering from child well she's um she's neglecting her kids not suffering from she's going she, presently she's ne neglecting her kids here all right and I feel like she see you and she see that you do take care of your kids if you have kids and you are a better mom and she gets jealous I'm getting that she keeps her kids dirty she don't wash them I'm getting crusty so we're saying crusty so then maybe they be having crust in their eyes or they be smelling you know like corn chips I'm getting like they don't be like pee sometimes like the kids don't be smelling good yeah they, they're jealous that this this friend drinks a lot okay this for some of you guys this could be an ex-boyfriend all right whoever this person is here look blood on their hands they have blood on their hands here all right i feel like they could have um tried to do like some type of small sacrifice to you here on you okay some type of um satanic ritual here you see his eyes i do see like a friend did some witchcraft on you and your kids okay because they're mad at their um somebody's being charged with bad parenting and they're mad that they're being charged with bad parenting i feel like yeah mm -hmm, and and that's why they was coming after your kids here scared of hey somebody is scared of the kids being taken away but at the same time i feel like somebody hate their parents here i feel like the friend is afraid of her kids being taken away or you know whoever could be um so some of you guys your auntie was trying to set you up and your kids okay thank you i resonate but this friend was digging dirt on you trying to look um trying to look for dirt on you okay or vice versa this friend was trying to say that you was looking up dirt on them but really they was looking up dirt on you okay they, they, whoever this person is, they think about you all the time. Out the friends, fam, I'm getting platonic. This friend, whoever this crazy friend is, he or she think about you all the damn time. I feel like this friend is always coming after y'all here, but it's, it's like you're unbothered here, and this friend still wants to fight. Yeah, this is a friend, girl, fr girl fight, and they still want to fight. And for some of you guys, y'all had a narcissistic ex doing this shit to you too. So some of y'all was dealing with a narcissistic ex and a friend. This energy coming back around again. All right, so some of y'all, these people are trying to come right back around here, and they still want to fight, and the ex still wants to be a player. All right, but they seeing that you unfazed, okay? They seeing that, and they can't manipulate, they can't use their little scarcity tactics anymore, all right? So I feel like they want to try to come back around a different way because it's flipped out in reverse. Yes, I do get a, I do get a sense that there's still animosity, but they want to come out of conflict. But like I said earlier, for some of you guys, they just want to come out of conflict, and then eventually they're just going to end up setting you right back up because they have not healed what it is that they're mad at you about, okay? They're still mad at you about something. They're just simply not healed. Okay. Ooh, somebody wants child support here. And in order, ooh. All right. So this is what's going This is a bird eye view. For some of you guys, your friend here, she's receiving karma. Okay. Take how it resonates. She's receiving karma for either trying to, to trying to threaten you, just trying to sabotage your business, try to threaten your kids, do whatever. And I feel like it's a whatever karma she's facing is affecting her kids here. I'm getting legal. It's affecting her kids. And with this giving money and neglect, it's almost like, this friend is going through something where it's like the kid's father or whoever is taking care of the kids wants, um, it's almost like it's saying, okay, you want money, you want child support, well, I'm going to charge you with neglect. Okay, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. They're saying, like, the only way for me to give you child support is for you to be charged with neglect because they're saying that the this is this is a bird eye view of what's going on with your friend. Okay, take it how it resonates. It's not gonna resonate with everybody. Just take it how it resonates. Y'all been dealing with a bullshit friend that was trying to sabotage you. She's receiving karma. Okay, 
and whoever her children's father is or grandma, mom, whoever's watching the kids, I feel like it's the baby dad or whoever have um, partial custody of the kids, okay? But I feel like it's the baby father. But I know sometimes it can be switch energy. He, he, see it, he, he is saying, you want child support? I'm going to charge you with neglect because I know that you're not taking care of my kids properly. Somebody is dealing with neglect charges. That's really what I should say. Somebody is dealing with neglect charges. It's this impersonated, this fake friend. He or she is dealing with neglect charges and and, and and have a family falling out and issues here. This fake friend is trying to come back around and be your friend again. That's why he or she is coming back around, okay? And this is this is a homeboy. He going through this with his baby mama. He going to be telling you all this with the baby mama been trying to do to, to try to sabotage him from keeping from not having the kids. But either way it go, I feel like if you guys let this friend back around, which I feel like y'all not, this could already happen. She would have he or she would have been telling you what's been going on. Like this is happening. Like they're being charged with neglect. And somehow they need your help to try to get them out of it. I'm getting money. They may even need, like, yeah, they may ask you to give them some money. I'm getting money for, like, courts or something. Like, they need some type of money to put up. I'm even getting bail money. Somebody could even went to jail. All right? That's for a small percentage. Yeah, this, this person, this friend or whoever, friend, lover, whoever, this person was stalking you. Just know that you was being stalked by um, this impersonator. A karmic, too. It could have even been a karmic. Your ex-boyfriend karmic could have been stalking you. Just take it how it resonates, Okay? She is being charged with neglect, and she's lonely. She don't have her kids anymore. Okay, she's being charged with, with neglect, and I'm getting that she has to pay some type of fee, too. All right? She has to pay some type of fee, some type of court fees, something. She got to pay. All right? But she was stalking because she was jealous. Grudge holder, jealous because for some of you guys, this, this friend was always jealous because you had a... um. A stable rich person, somebody that is a boss daddy, okay, or that you were happy in love, you found you found your masculine here, and their head is still in the clouds here trying to um, fish for comments as in looking for someone online. All right, what I'm also getting is that your friend or who this impersonated was trying to find a way to take your person away from you, was plotting and planning your dirt digging, trying to dig dirt on your person to see who your person is, where they are, how they look, what's their social media, so they can try to talk to them, so they can try to travel towards them, all right? But you, I feel like you know about this, but you're not bothered here. You're not worrying about it. That's why this friend is lonely right now. Don't have anyone. This friend wishes that she looked at you and everything. And if this is a homeboy, he compared himself to you a lot. Okay, a lot. Okay, let's get one more. Yeah, you a boss biatch. You're a boss biatch. When you run your own business, that's what basically what this too busy winning is. You're running your own business and you're very stable and multifaceted and busy. And these people don't know much about you. You may feel like these people know everything that's going on around you with some of you guys. They may have broke boundaries, got readings done on you in the past, tapping into your energy. But I feel like this low IQ, they don't know what's going on. All they know is that you are stepping into your boss energy. Okay? And you are in a positive, high vibration. All right, and nothing that they can do can stop your prosperity from coming in. They don't know what's going on. That, that door is closed. That chapter is closed. The past is trying to come back around again, but these, it's only because these people are, are about to receive karma. All right, they know they're about to receive karma. They know it. Yeah, follow my Instagram. Starseeds Tarot 444, you guys. Follow yeah, they really, and a lot of these people are really, listen, somebody is watching you from a fake account, they're realizing that they're wasting their time, stuff, no change is limited, because things is not changing in their life, and they're limited, and they can't uh, fuck with you like they used to, alright, they're bankrupt right now, they're bankrupt, somebody could have been waiting for you to become bankrupt, for you to lose your business, but yeah, that's why they've been creeping, but I feel like, nah, it, 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 they, what they're doing is watching you win. Okay, what they're watching you is too is being too busy winning. Somebody's throwing up somebody is sick too. Somebody's throwing up bad or somebody was throwing up bad here. I feel like this this these karmic you was dealing with, they were throwing up real bad. Here we go with the karmic friends again, y'all. Here we go with the karmic ass friends. I, I'm gonna use these next. Karmic friends trying to come back around. These impersonators. All 
All right, so let's see, Spirit. Let's get some um, Law of Attraction cards. Let's see, Spirit. Mayhem. Yeah, look. They have this impersonator. They're, they're fam they're having family issues. It's causing them a lot of mayhem right now. They're going through a lot of karma. Your manifestation is coming. These these the, your family members, they was trying to block your um your manifestations. Current issues re reveal past wounds. Yeah, whatever you're dealing with currently is revealing shit from the past. What was happening from the past. So whatever the, these karmics are dealing with as far as karma, it's because of what they did to you in the past here. Spiritual growth, hang tight. Yeah, I feel like these karmics are also going through in a spiritual awakening, as in they're realizing that their karmic is fucked and that they need to heal and change. And spirit is telling you to hang tight. All right, you may be going through some family issues right now, but things are going to get better here. All right, choose your, um, listen to your heart and your mind here. Listen to your heart, listen to your intuition. That's what I'm getting. What you feel in your heart, you need to make that, you need to make a decision based on how you feel in your heart space, okay? Let's see. Let's let's go into dirty offer. Limiting beliefs. Yeah, y'all blocking out these limits. Y'all know that these these people that's trying to come back from the past. You know that they are um here to block your your beliefs here. You know that they're 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 limited. Okay, and you are a limitless being. All right, so you know that. You, and you know that they still have subconscious fears. You know that they still suffering from their own limiting beliefs. And you know that they need to do shadow work. Okay, they need to check themselves. All right, and they need to rewire with um, subliminals. They need to rewire their hidden subconscious. They need to heal. These people need to heal. And that's why they want to come back around with a bullshit offer. Because they want to heal and they want to feed off your light. They want to feed off your healing energy. And Spirit is like, no, I feel like in the past you try to help these karmics, these family members. You told them to write shit down. You know, attract you. You can attract what it is that you want. You, you know... You, you know, your life is what you make it. You are the life that you want to live. So you need to act in such, in, in that energy. And they, they would just scone you. All right. They would just make you feel less than. They would just do shit with, with no humility here. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Too busy winning. You're growing a lot of abundance here. Yeah. In flow state. And things are about to start. Um, about to start becoming more steady for you. I feel like things will be steady and then stagnant, steady and then stagnant. All right, but now I'm getting like pipes clogging up. Spirit had to clog on the um unclog those pipes here, old rusted pipes. A lot of those old rusted pipes had to go, and you needed some repairing, energy, re energetic repairing. Spirit had to um upgrade your aura and your energetic field. Okay, so you can attract what it is that you truly desire here, so you can really step into that manifestation energy, that five D consciousness energy, in flow state. In the zone, love and life, focus, high frequency, skills meet, challenge, flotation therapy. Somebody's nervous because my, my hands are shaking. Somebody's nervous when they think about you, when they look at you, when they see you. It's these karmics. They're receiving karma, man, because they were trying to stop your abundance. Somebody's receiving big karma for trying to stop your destiny here. And things, is about, like I said, about to be in flow state for you. So don't worry. You're going to be too busy winning. You're going to be laughing at these people. while they Listen, while these people was laughing at you or while they are laughing at you, Spirit is saying you're going to be in that flow state. I'm getting while they were laughing at you, okay, because they were these people laughing at you in the past. Now they have to see you in that flow state here. Some people could still be laughing at you still threatened and intimidated but when they come back around when they see you they're gonna see that you're busy winning and, and you ain't studying them all right somebody literally is trying to make it seem like you still studying them you still worrying about them and you're not they're still worrying about you they they're mad this this is a selfish person whoever i'm distraught describing whoever, all right whoever you're dealing with they're very selfish and the world revolves around them so they swear that you need them and your life is endless okay Endless. Your, your life is about to end without them. I'm going to say your life is end. They, they think that your life is about to end without them, but that's not true. I'm getting your life is endless. So things did not end because this person left. Oh, gosh. Hold on, y'all. All right, hold on.
I'm back, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to get a biscuit. I ain't eat this morning. It's 11 o'clock. It's still morning. But, um... Yeah, you guys. Do some flotation therapy. Skills meet challenge. So do some challenges. Like, 30-day challenges. Do, like, a... Uh, if you want to start small, start to do a seven day challenge where you do um, either chakra activation or a chakra alignment, okay, or chakra cleansing every night before you go to bed, spirit saying, and if you can, do it every morning, okay. Um, let me see. Do like certain like affirmation challenges to keep that in that inflow that inflow state. Okay, to keep it going. And there's definitely people trying to stagnate your flow. That's just not happening no more. Spirit saying that's not happening. Things are different now. But you still want to keep your energy maintained. So definitely do that for yourself. Okay. First and for others too. So again, like I said, you try to help these people. So for some of you guys, y'all try to manifest for these people, and it backfired because they end up betraying you. I mean, y'all could have prayed for them, but y'all going through a paradigm shift. Y'all shifting from that three D to the five D, or from the four D to the five D. You guys are stepping into that five D consciousness land. Either way it goes. You're stepping into that God-like frequency or that goddess-like frequency, that angelic frequency, that magical energy, okay? Your frequency. New experience is integrating now. Yeah, new timelines are setting for you. Materialization, things are going to start becoming more tangible. Things are going to be manifesting in your 3D reality. The 5D is the consciousness. The 3D is the physical. If we match our 3D or if we match our 5D with the 3D, we'll literally be living in our 5D consciousness because everything that we put out there on the conscious level will be manifested in the physical. Okay, that's what I mean. That's basically with the 3D. The 3D is also a karmic well realm as well. Um, but yeah, depending on what your purpose here. Okay. Growth expansion, progression, cycles change. Yeah, these people are going through many cycles. You're going through many growing cycles. I feel like these past few months, this whole year, you're going through a growing cycle where you had to grow and evolve. Okay, I can definitely say I'm a whole different person from earlier this year to right now. I'm completely different. I know I matured. So I feel like y'all had y'all are going through the same thing. Y'all realizing that, and y'all had to go through certain challenges and obstacles with these people. Okay, so you can grow. Let's see why it's threatening here. You 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 intimidate a lot of people here. You threaten them a lot. You threaten them by your skills, okay, your talents, your gifts, okay. You're very gifted and talented, or just very knowledgeable and um intelligent here. But yeah, look, respond versus react. People they did not know how to react to you. All right. Instead of them responding like you would, they would just react. It's like you will cause people to react and feel some type of way. It's like your your vibration is just too high, and it causes these karmics to become unstable and un unsure of themselves. Express from a loving place. Yes, that's you. You always come from a loving place, and these people think that you're coming from an ego um, um, place, or you're coming from um, a place of like of arrogance or whatever. And you're not. You're just trying to show them to be. It's like when people are grudgeful and they're not in like a love high frequency. Okay, they automatically t get fearful. Okay, because they're not recon They don't recognize their light. You recognize your light, so you're able to be in that love frequency. Okay. Old triggers slash traumas yields drama. New beneficial thought patterns. Yeah, I feel like we, we definitely need to start working on some new beneficial thought patterns, okay? Because these people, by them threatening you and trying to, um you know, be them being intimidated by you somehow, got you thinking that, you, you know, it, it kind of affected, it, ca it caused some trauma. It did. It caused some tra trauma and some triggers, so you definitely need to... Release that old thought pattern of, you know, they're going to come after me, all right, and just, no, and just remain in this boss of biatch energy here. Know that they can't touch you. They have, they don't know what's going on with you. They don't know what's, I'm here, they don't know the prize, the, the prime design or the, or the real prize, the prime design. Well, whatever is designed for you, all right, it's prime. It's, it's, you're going to be at your prime, your peak here. It's like they can't take the prize, all right, but... 
y'all were dealing with a lot of people. Y'all were doing. Y'all were dealing with a lot of respond versus react. Y'all would respond and people would just react. And y'all got tired of that shit. A lot of y'all was like, man, I'm going. I'm I'm too grown for this. Like you acting childish. For some of y'all, I felt like that was with your lover. They were just too fucking childish. Every time you respond, they'll just react. Like you don't have time for it. So with this, I'm spirit is telling you to go for it. Something that y'all are hesitant on or stag or um, procrastinating on, spirit is saying to go for it. Even if you got to take a flight, even if you have to travel, you, you need to step out of your comfort zone. Make some plans in the now time. So, yeah, do something right now here. Favorable outcome in alignment. Because it's in alignment for you. This new moon and Sag is, is, uh, is aligning things for you to go for whatever you need to go for, whatever talents here. Mindfulness and negativity. I feel like this has something to do with your spiritual growth. Some of you guys want to do spiritual work. All right, do, um, you know, like, be a, like do, yeah, do spiritual work. I feel like this is the right time. I feel like you have a, a lot of knowledge. And a lot of wisdom here with this mindfulness card to help others release negativity and negative thought patterns here by teaching them how to say positive affirmations. I feel like you need to do that. And visualization to teach them how to visualize things into their life so they can um manifest here. Trust the progress. So yeah, life service. I feel like y'all been going through a lot of ups and downs. It's like y'all want to start the spiritual business but you just don't know how or people been coming at you people try to say you don't have enough humility you don't you know you have to or you don't have enough pride so you don't have enough confidence within yourself people really try to bring you down but you got this all right spirit you know just keep watching me and i help you i'll send you some love and energy all right um the spirit wanted me to tell y'all that dead ass like just keep watching me i guess because i feel like um Whoever this is resonating for, I feel like you've been watching me for a minute or you enjoy my video. So, something's going to be resonating for you soon in my video. I feel like this is for a lot of you guys, okay? Something's going to be realized in one of my videos, okay? But let's see. Let's go into Impersonator. Surprise. Yep, this, this Impersonator is trying to pop up, trying to do a pop-up. This friend could have even did a pop-up, popped up at your house, like, surprise, hey, can we talk, can we be friends? They didn't even look the same, they didn't even look good, they look extra skinny, okay, they just don't look good, okay, and it's, it's like, by them being extra skinny, they look extra tall, I don't know, they just look different to you. They definitely went through a transformation in on, on their physical self, they don't look the same, and y it shocked y'all, and y'all very balanced right now, so y'all instantly picked up that their energy was not right, you didn't even let them in the house, and you told them, nah, they can't talk here, I mean, you don't want to talk. Any way that you wouldn't expect. They came, they popped up at your house for a lot of you guys. Or they planned on doing a pop-up. A gift from the universe, intense twist of fate, eclipse news. Look, eclipse news. And we're in eclipse season. Okay. For a lot of you guys, the news is y'all about to have a friend about to pop up at your house wanting to talk. Okay. This friend could have looked at you close as a, a family member or whatever like that. And they and they want that energy again. They're going through a lot of mayhem. They're going through a lot of karma. A lot of um. They're going through a chaotic karmic cycle right now, and they need your healing energy to get them out of it here, okay? They was also trying to be like you, too. Um, this friend, like I said, they were, they were trying to be like you. They were trying to be like you, too. They realize that you're a gift from the universe. You're a gift from, like, they, they, appre they, they appreciate this friendship now. Whoever this person is, a lot of you guys, this is a lover, too. For some of you guys, it's a lover. It's a mix of both or a friend or a lover. Or a friend, I mean, I'm sorry, or your lover's karmic. Y'all could even have your your friend friend could even been attacking y'all too, but that's not for everybody, okay? Twist of fate, yeah, things a twist of fate. This friend is having a twist of fate. She, he or she thought things was going to manifest a certain way for them, but it did not. It backfired here, and you're happy. You're happy because you're coming out of that limiting beliefs, and I feel like this is what this friend is finally realizing that five D energy spirit is saying. This friend is finally coming into realization that this five D energy is real, and that you are what you fucking attract, okay? So, yeah, they definitely, again, with that humility, they, that's another, this friend definitely tried to say you have no humility. You have something about your heart, like your heart is, is, is not pure, okay? It's some shit like that they try to say. But karma is hitting their asses. This friend is going to see you living very luxurious, a luxurious, expensive lifestyle. And this friend is going to end up jealous or just be really mad. They, they, this friend is going to learn a lesson. This friend is going to learn a valuable lesson just by seeing you in your um, high frequency, booked and busy, you know, successful. Why does it off here? Inner peace. Yeah. You're dusting off all that bullshit and you're finding your inner peace. You're dusting off all of that bullshit and you are finding your inner peace here. Clearing past slash ancient traumas. You guys are passing. I'm just passing. Okay. Y'all could be passing some tests. 
But you guys are clearing past life karma and traumas, ancient traumas, even from ancestors, um, ancestral, so generational traumas and curses. You guys are clearing all that shit. Y'all literally, a lot of you guys came here to clear up a lot of generational curses, karma, traumas, and your past life to clear up shit from your past life. All right, physical, mental, and spiritual practices, love, inner child. Yeah, a lot of you guys are very spiritual here, and you guys are very knowledgeable. Okay, y'all have the power or the gift to help trans to transform people's minds, to transmute their minds into from that limiting to belief, from that limiting to belief to that belief of abundance. Okay, keeping their crown chakra in that abundant frequency. Okay, you have a lot of inner peace, and bitches was mad about that. People was really mad here. But it's time for you to enjoy your journey. It's time for you to enjoy the good things, the bliss, the, the wonderful things that, that life has in store for you. Okay? The fun is getting in there. Yeah, stuff is about to really start getting better. Acknowledge your process, travel, mental vacation, be spontaneous. And I'm getting that. Listen, for some of you guys, this is um this is like near future energy with this friend coming back around. I feel like presently this friend is still wishing bad on you. And they're about to receive their damn karma. And right when they receive their karma, that's when they're going to want to try to come back around. But I, again, I feel like um, I'm getting another friend. So there could be two friends that was doing this shit to you. All right, but either way it goes, the friend is, is dealing with some um, some um, neglectful char neglect charges, CPS charges, okay? Or will be, I don't know. But I feel like they are, they're dealing with a lot. They are, they're going to be dealing with a lot. Okay, so shit ain't really happening for them right now. So them trying to stop your inflow state is just keeping them more stagnant. It's like they're just attracting more negative karma to them. Like that, whatever they, whatever they're doing in the past is not going to work this time. What about kissing ass? Yeah, magic of pretending. This friend, was, listen, first of all, this friend was always pretending. With this kissing ass and magic pretending, they was pretending to be into magic, pretending to be into spirituality, pretending to be in about nature. Okay, I'm getting flowers here. You guys, like... Do something with flowers, have a flower shop or a floor shop. They pretend to support you in that. They feel like that's not really your dream and your, your shop going to shut down. They they said some some foul, wicked shit about you, okay? And now they with this visualized ideal situ situations, I feel like now they're visualizing um, you two reconciling and how y'all could have really been great friends. Now they see how y'all could have been great friends. Nah, be detailed, play the part, see as manifested, speak it into existence, be certain. Stop, Mina. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, whatever, I feel like you're seeing everything as you manifest it for yourself right now, as far as, like, your inflow state, your your abundance, your success. Everything is coming as you manifest it. You spoke a lot of things out into existence, and you were very certain. So whatever these karmics try to do with their limiting beliefs, trying to send out negativity, it did not work. It did not work overall because your mind and your heart is very strong. It's in union. It's connected. Okay, you cannot manifest your heart desires without your mind and your heart being in alignment. Okay, because your mind is what is that signal that sends out that, that channel, that communication to universe, to God for what you want. And your heart is that intention, that desire. Okay, you got to have both strong heart desires and a strong mind to, to, to have what, what it is that you want. Don't just look like a brain. Don't look like a brain. If you really, if you don't look at it too good, it looks like a brain. And then if you really look at it, you see it's dolphins and stuff. That's symbolizing that your mind needs to be in bliss. Just like how your heart is in bliss. Your, your mind can't be cluttered, but you're trying to manifest from a, um from, from your heart because of that, there's unclear blockages that need to be cleared. So you need to clear those, unblo um, those unclear blockages first before you can manifest that new beginning. Because you can manifest it, but spirit is about to hand you those. Well, universe, I'm not even going to say spirit. Universe is going to still throw you them unclear blockages. Like, hey, you got to get this out the way first. I can give you your abundance, but just know these unclear blockages are going to be st still here trying to stop you. Okay, so yeah, harmony of heart, joy and vision with mind, plan and action. Okay, literally, faster manifestation, highest vibration. That's literally what I was just saying. Okay, that desire from your heart, that joy and that vision, that desire from your heart is going to create that vision in your third eye. Okay, that's also connected with your crown here. Okay. And with your mind, that's when you plan, that's when you plan your action here. That's when you're creating that strategy. Okay, so let's see. Why is fake flexing? I mean, uh, please stop it, lady. Yeah, it's manifested. Bitch, listen. For a small percentage of you, it's not for everyone. Well, yeah, that's what Spirit is saying. For a small percentage of you, all these people that were saying that you was fake flexing, wishing on your downfall, wishing all these things happen to you, they don't realize that they that energy was transmuted into something beautiful for you. So it's like 
they it's, it's like instead of them sending you negative energy, they actually sent you positive energy. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting with that. But these bitches trying to say that you was fake flexing, but you actually manifested your life. It's manifested. So anyone that's still trying to say you fake flexing, like, no, it's manifested. Your life is manifested. You are connected with the cosmos, okay? You are connected. You co-create with the cosmos, the cosmic energy. And somebody is jealous that you're able to do that. New desire reality is already present in your life. Like I said, it's already manifested. So all that fake flexing, all, they was, all that shit that they were saying that you was doing, all they were doing was sending out energy for you to be more prosperous. All right, that energy was transmuted. It was transmuted into positive energy. And that can happen if, depending on how powerful you are, how protected you are, how spiritually um, advanced, well, no, not advanced. Um, I can't, your spiritual rank, there we go. Your, you know, your, your energy is able to transmute. Like, for me, for example, it's like, it's to the point where anybody who sends me negativity, spirit would just transmute that into a blessing or a lesson. Like, maybe I, you know, whatever they're sending me, like, hey, well, maybe... Shauna needs to um, learn a lesson behind that, okay? Or maybe collectively learn a lesson behind that. So we'll let that manifest, but it's not going to be as bad as they try to manifest, all right? And then it'll still turn out into a blessing anyway, all right? But anyway, this is vibrational alignment of astrology gives edge. Yeah, this this eclipse season. We have eclipse news in astrology. This this new moon in Sagittarius manifested something big for you here. And this is your, your destiny. It manifested your destiny. Your heart and your mind is in union. Or it was when you was in alignment and it's growing you a lot of success. You wrote a lot of shit down. You wrote shit down for you to be in an alignment with your mind and your heart and for you to grow a lot of success and it's manifested. If you guys letting go of that past programming here, you need to let go of the past. Yeah, and that past programming is just friends. So it says enjoying friends with the flamingo. I feel like the past programming is your friends. Trying to come back around. That's the 3D. The 3D is your friends or this lover or your family. I mean, let's stop it. Okay. The past programming is your friends, your family member, or your old lover. Okay. I was picking up a lot of friend energy for a lot of y'all. I feel like a lot of y'all do have a bullshit ass friend or a, a acquaintance or associate that is trying you. And then y'all dealing with family shit and on the side here. But some a lot of y'all moved here. Y'all moved as well with this, um... Pacificity matters. Pacificity matters. Okay, being pacific. Yeah, in your home, and you in bliss here. And you, your home is in high vibration. And I'm getting that they can feel it. Um, they can feel it. These karmics can feel that you are in a new space. And that you are in serenity and in high vibes. They can feel it. They don't like it here. Inspire your thoughts. I feel like, yeah. And that's what inspired this friend or family, ex-lover, to come towards you here because they felt that you was in a high vibration. They need your help. They was meditating on you and they realized that you had a lot of love to give and they took advantage of that. Nah, it's too late. It's too late here. Let's go into Boss Biatch. Let's see, Spirit, why is Boss Biatch here? And I'm going to, um, I'll be done. Maybe I'll put some tarot. Why is Boss Biatch here? Yep, enjoy your journey. You are on a journey to becoming a boss biatch, running your business, becoming more stable, busy, and multifaceted. All right, the fun part, the, the part you've been waiting on is finally here, the fun part. All right, the next step is here. The next step is you becoming that boss biatch and you enjoy, enjoying your journey. You stepping into that um boss, light boss biatch energy, basically, yeah. Why is low IQ here? All right, say affirmations. Yeah, these people, man, somebody was saying negative affirmations against you here, but they don't realize that Spirit is saying, first of all, them saying low, um, low vibe, bottom saying bad affirmations towards you. I was about to say low affirmations, so low vibratory affirmations, bottom saying that against you, it made them a bit more slow in their cognizance cognitive skills i can't say that word but basically they're not like their brain is not clicking i don't know somebody is just becoming more slow by speaking negative against you here all right and what i'm also getting is that these people yeah i feel like you close the door on these people like now somebody wants to say affirmations now they want to do the right thing but it's like you close the door now i'm seeing that you close the door all right, you close the door now because you're in that flow state. Somebody is trying to steal your energy here or trying to steal your ideas to be in that flow state like you. All right, this can be aware of that. Somebody's going to be trying to steal your energy or try to copy you to be in that type of that same flow state that you're in. All right, stealing ideas and stuff like that. All right, all right, love. Yeah, you love your where you are. If you guys just moved, you love where you are. You love it. It's meant for you to be there. It's meant. You're meant to be there. Okay. Maybe somebody was trying to convince you not to move, but no, you you like I like where I live. <laughs> you like I like where I live. What do you mean? What do you mean? Mommy, 
So, um, yeah. Go ahead. And pull some tarot. Good luck and fortune is coming in for you. Good luck and fortune is coming in for you. Alright, so let's see. Get some tarot spirit. Six of Pentacles here to reverse. All right, so stop giving your energy into things that you know is not giving you. That's not giving you the same equal give and take here. So don't give into anything that way you're not receiving it. Okay, but this judgment here in reverse. I feel like these are the past karmas again. They have some things like it's like they have some things that they have to say. But that judgment here in reverse. That's what I'm getting. They have something that they have to say. Because judgment in reverse is someone that's not awakened to something yet. That has not answered the call. That is re um, resentment here. That could be karma. Bad karma here. Someone that's just simply not um, learning a lesson. That's what I'm also getting with that judgment here in reverse. Someone's not learning a lesson here. So some of you guys... If y'all want to start repeating cycles, y'all got to learn some type of lesson. Stop giving into limiting beliefs, all right? Stop giving giving into certain um, limiting beliefs. Just go do with your own, do your own thing. Go with your own flow, all right? I feel like these limiting beliefs have something to do with your business or your career, all right? I feel like you're still working on balancing things out. Like I said, things are about to start getting better for you, but I feel like you're still getting into alignment, of course, all right? But Spirit is saying do not limit yourself when it comes down to your business. Starting a whole new energy here. Yeah, because with the Knight of Cups here in verse, some of you guys doubting yourselves. Pisces energy, of, like, that's dreams here. You, you know, the Pisces are dreaming. Some of y'all may doubt your dreams because of what people said in the past. F that. That's not your thoughts. Some of y'all are literally picking up other people's thoughts about you and your business. It's not even your, your emotion. It's somebody else's emotion. All right, so do your thing. Yeah, look, for a long time resident, don't give in to the old family, old friendships, because this is friendships and this will be family and an old relationship. Do not give in to it. Y'all can have about six karmics that want to come back into you. Do know, let them go. Let them go here, all right? Y'all can have, like, about six friends that may want to try to come back, six family members here, or your lover could be trying to come back around six times. No, let them go, because they're here to stagnate your, your beliefs here. They're here to limit your, they're, they're here to put you right back in that same energy that y'all was when, when y'all left, when y'all left them. You evolve from that time into now. You're, so you're not, you're no longer in that same energy, that reacting energy. Spirit saying you're not in that reacting energy anymore. You're responding now. All right, and people are, are they're coming back to put you back into that, to that energy, tell you what to do, how you're supposed to do things. Like, no, they need to mind their business and move the hell on. Yeah, look, three of pinnacles. They want to work things out with you again. They want to rebuild things with you again. They want to work like a work. I'm getting, <coughs> a lot of you guys, this is, um, I'm getting the energy of your lover now. For some of you guys, this is the energy of your lover now. They want to work, and the friends too. This is friendship as well. Collaboration, period. They want to work things out with you. That's what this spirit is saying. Your friend, your ex-lover is saying they want to work things out with you. They want to work, um, they want to work, like, um. They want to work as a team. They want to collaborate. They want to plan. All that stuff. And I feel like your friends or family, they want to call you and talk about whatever third-party situation that was going on in the past here. Because I feel like this was a group situation where people, a group of people or a group of family members here, it was like some type of group gossip, group drama, group team up, group setup. They want to talk about that and say it wasn't like that. Okay? Saying that they had no parts of it. A lot of you guys are messengers. Yeah, I receive channel messages from spirit. Somebody was trying to block that channel. Right? And they receive a severe karma for that. They're not going to receive the, the um, payout that they thought they were going to have. I'm hearing natural payout. So somebody could, with that natural, I'm getting, somebody probably thought that, you know, they were supposed, it's like it was um natural for them to do it. Like it was a part of some type of, um, like, they was meant to do it, basically. But that, that's what I'm getting. I'm sorry. Sometimes spirit would tell me, you would tell me a word, and I, and it will resonate with 
with that right there, with that feeling. I know nature really don't have nothing to do with that, but that's what they're telling me. Somebody thought that it was in their nature, like they have that, they had that right, they had that privilege to do whatever it is that they did to you, okay? But now they're receiving karma for it. They're being judged by the angels, okay? Two of Wands here. I feel like it's just time for you to go down a new path. Like I said, as far as like you know that limiting belief, time for you to go down a new path of um. Releasing what's no longer serving you and letting go of that limiting belief. For some of you guys, I need to go back and work on whatever you let go because it, it, can, it became unstable, yes. All right, but I spirit said it's the time for you to rebuild that and, and fix it. All right, because with the pentacle here at the bottom, I'm seeing gold, okay? Something was, was very valuable to you. All right, or you was building um building something up that was very valuable. It don't even have to be with money. It could just be how you feel about it in your heart. Spirit is saying something. Like, you gave up on it, but Spirit is saying something to go back towards it here. A lot of you guys gave up on your dreams because y'all dealing with a lot of people that was reacting to you instead of responding. But I feel like a lot of you guys are stepping back into that energy of manifesting your 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 business here, your career, whatever it is, or... Um, Spirit is saying it's time to go back to towards it here. Yeah, it's time for you to step in that emperor energy. All right, get back into that entrepreneur energy. Step, get back into your passion. Get back into your business here. All right, get back into it here. A lot of you guys did let it go to go back to work to get a job. But Spirit is saying, no, that's a missed opportunity. Y'all wasn't even happy at work. Y'all just went back to work because y'all, because bitches was re reacting instead of responding. All right, y'all could have had an angry mother or, or somebody that was just, very cold and direct with her and cut with her words, okay? Or his words. Take out resonate. Yeah, but somebody's being exposed. And and while they while they ain't getting being exposed, you need to let go. You need to let put your guard down and go and put yourself back out there, okay? Yeah. Some of you guys this has something to do with to do with like spiritual like a lot. Hold on! Sorry, y'all. A lot of you guys, y'all made, listen, this has something to do with, like, that spiritual business we was talking about. What? Oh, money, you choking but screaming for me? Y'all, they be doing too much. She wasn't really choking, y'all. Okay? She was drinking the water and swallowed too fast. You know how kids be. But anyway, with the Knight of Swords... Okay, yeah, you're, you're receiving karmic justice. I'm hearing justice. You're receiving karmic justice. But with the Knight of Swords, in, uh, quickly too, rapid, instant karma that's coming. Um, People are receiving instant karma for what they did to you. But anyway, with the Knight of Swords and the um, Hierophant, you guys are messengers. The Knight is a messenger here. He's a messenger. You guys receive messages from God or from universe or from the divine, from ascended masters here. And y'all made a lot of money off of it. All right, or y'all was became well, gaining some type of stability, some type of um financial status here, Capricorn energy. Y'all was making a lot of money here. You guys were satisfied. Y'all was happy, but something happened here. Y'all had to give up. Yeah, the energy got too heavy. It got too heavy because y'all was dealing with people that was reacting instead of responding to you. And it's like your back was against the wall, and a lot of you guys just had to give up. A lot of y'all, you know, y'all turned cold here. Yeah, y'all had to leave the situation out in the cold here with the King of Wands and the Five of Wands. Like y'all had to just move forward. King of Wands and move forward energy, forward movement. You know, you went out and started a whole new endeavor here but i feel like i'm getting dead end job y'all could have started a dead end job y'all could have went back to work and it was dead end y'all could have leveled up to manage your energy here but you just feel like your, your spirituality is calling you again because it's your time for some of you guys y'all had witches here breaking down your business yeah they may have won back then but now it's your time to, it's, it wasn't your time back then now it's your time now and they've been defeated you feel like they're receiving instant karma you picking up on it that yeah you look big old justice right i just said justice all right, see, some of y'all could be masculine, but I just feel like it's time for you to step into that provider masculine energy. You um becoming back stable, building your um rebuilding your brand, rebuilding your business. Hold on, Amani. Okay, but I feel like with the three of swords reversed in the in the sun and justice, you're receiving karmic justice. You're 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 being that situation that you was dealing with with bitches. Family members, ex-lovers, witches doing magic, okay? Whatever the situation is, whoever's trying to sabotage you, that situation being healed and, re and you're receiving karma now. I'm getting this could have happened like 10 years ago, all right? And you've been watching tarot on and off. You know, you've been connected spiritually, but you just let the situation go. No, 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 no. You're watching me for a reason because I, was, I just came out of a situation like that. And I almost gave up, but I didn't. It's time for you to come back. All right? We was in that age of Pisces back then, and a lot of karmic shit was, get, um, was getting... um. 
was 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 happening. But it was to set them up for this age of Aquarius because bitches can't run no more. The karmic family can't run no more. Witches they can't run anymore. Karma is here. Libra energy, my aunt energy. Y'all work with my aunt. Y'all work with Raw. He and she is here to bless you, okay, and to heal you. You're receiving karmic justice, and you're about to get back into your ten of, your King of Pentacles again. All right, becoming more stable, grounded. Being stepping in that entrepreneurship, taking care of your business, your home here, stepping into that leadership role, okay? And you're blocking out all these karmics. Yeah, this time around, y'all blocking out these karmics because I feel like for some of you guys, I, I don't really see it, but I do feel that y'all, yeah, I don't see it happening this time around. No, but back then, y'all definitely had people that were sabotaging you with this five of swords will of fortune reversing the seven of wands this is you you had to, you fought hard to block them out but eventually you had to give up not really give up but eventually you had to you, you got tired of fighting okay it was too much sabotage all right with this five it could have been up to five you was up against five karmics here five to seven people even at your work doing this shit to you but it's like you had to defend yourself but this time but they hanged they they surrendered and they're in spiritual jail they hang. They're hanged here. Yeah, and I feel like things are about to start becoming more peaceful. Pisces energy. This could have been a Pisces doing this to you, a Sagittarius, a Leo, a Libra, a Aries, okay, or a Taurus here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, but um, Six of Swords, things are about to become peaceful for you. And these, these people that are doing this to you, these witches, bitches, family, ex, they're unrested. While you're unbothered, they are, they, too, they keep saying they're unbothered by you. That's not true. That's not true. They're jealous and they're hurt and they're sad, okay, about what they did to you. And they're jealous that you're still coming out on top, all right? You're still coming out on top here. Yeah, look, if this was a, a couple, your your partner, y'all just did not mix. Y'all was just on two different levels, all right? Y'all was y'all y'all love, y'all love language was different here. They love differently. You love differently. They was emotionally um unavailable, and I feel like your emotional, and your emotions did not meet their emotional needs. It's like, y'all could have been two water signs, but y'all just did not mix, all right? They coming back around to reach out to you. They coming back around to reach out. They want to come, they want to come back around to communicate. That's why I should say they coming back around to communicate with you with this eight of wands, but I don't feel like you're going to do it with this nine of wands, with this page. Ah, with this ace of wands reverse i feel like you denied their offer they could have already reach out to you and you and you deny them they're stuck in um spiritual jail hold on money somebody could be going to jail they i feel like an ex is going of yours is going to go to jail and they're going to have a fight in jail all right and then and it's going to and it's going to keep them even more um it's going to give them more a bigger charge in, in, in jail here but yeah look speaking of jail look at this eight of swords Somebody's going to be going to jail in the near future. But the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you guys put a stop to that ex situation here because you knew that they were just trying to keep you stuck. All right? But somebody's going to be getting arrested. Somebody could be doing um, scamming for money or doing something illegal for money that's about, to, that's about to be stopped. All right? Yeah. The cops is about to get someone. Don't this look like a jail? Somebody's trying to avoid jail. But they're still about to get caught anyway because it's a part of their destined past. They made a lot of bad choices here with the lovers here. They made a lot of bad choices. And with the four of cups and the four of pentacles here, yeah, somebody's depressed as hell. Somebody's depressed as hell. Somebody, did, somebody is depressed because of some magic. Somebody did some magic spell that makes somebody very fucking depressed. Okay? And I feel like they try to... Um, I'm getting soul tied. Whoever... I feel like your ex-lover could have did some magic here. All right? And it, and it backfired on them. And it caused them to be depressed. And they were trying to do a soul tie. All right. And it, it blocked. It got blocked. And it caused them to be depressed here. But you move forward from that. Five of Cups and the Magician. You stepped into your own personal power. Your own inner power. And you moved on from that. You're no longer inspired by these past family members, friends, co-workers, ex-lovers calling you. You don't feel the same. You know that they're not wish fulfillment. You know that they're not good for you. You know that they're not good for you. Yeah, and that they're in balance here, and their energy keeps you off balance. Their energy keeps you in a, a energy of, like, you don't know yourself. You're not nurturing yourself. You're not loving yourself. You're not in that divine goddess energy. All right, and with that timbers in reverse, they're just off balance. They're just in balance. They, they cause you a spiritual imbalance. These people cause you a spiritual imbalance here. All right, and these people came across your path for a reason, so you can learn and grow. All right, so you can learn and grow. <laughs> Come to my own. Yeah, I'm chanting a lot right now. Oh, 
I gotta go to the store. I don't feel like it, but I gotta go. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so just know these karmics, they they coming in with an with an offer, with an apology, but don't invest in it. Do not invest in it because they're coming don't invest in these people because they're coming in with an apology. They're sorry, somebody been crying. All right, because they're karmic. They're the devil. They're evil. They know they're evil. That's why they come back around to apologize. But don't invest in this, okay? They're still karmic as fuck. They're still not healing. They still need to deal with their shit. They just see. They just clearly see that they bullshit. They clearly see that they're bullshit and that you was the truth. And that they these people had no humility. All right? And they try to say you don't, but they don't. But um, I love you all. Divine Feminine. Namaste.